oh my goodness it's a pretty oval oh my gosh very very good guys that was super strong as always yeah so let's begin on our back and just start to waking up the body first a lot of things so let's begin up here guys and just simply take your arms all the way behind behind your head and stretch your entire body toes away from the fingertips give yourself a good quality feel good nurturing stretch inhalation through the nose exhalation through the nose and then slowly guys draw your right leg all the way up and just lift the shoulders slightly for the first time just starting to wake up take a breath or two and then release and give your body another good quality stretch big loving stretch when you feel your arms your legs and then on exhalation draw that left leg up and maybe if you're ready draw the shoulders slightly off the floor give the neck spacious take a breath or two and then go ahead and give that body another quality full of energy straight and then from here we're gonna go for a little bit more active warm-up so let's take our both legs up arms all the way on the side and we will begin with the simple soft circles just one direction first it doesn't have to be guys a big wide ones just keep that lower back grounded and draw the circle to one direction first with those legs and then go ahead and switch to the other side so simply reverse those circles to the other direction let's do a couple more in through the nose out through the nose and from here let's go ahead and split the feet and we will continue to split and connect them back just like a scissors and if it feels right guys go ahead and take your shoulders off the ground and bring your legs a little bit lower up to 45 degrees to wake up the center of the body if you're supporting your head then draw your elbows outside in line with your shoulders and let's do just a few more and then slowly draw your both knees towards the chin chest or belly gives them a good hug ankles or knees let's take the legs back uh, shoulders back on the floor extend those legs and now we're going to go for external rotations with the both legs so together open draw again it doesn't have to be guys a big wide circles it can be very soft shallow ones to begin with just give it a few more two three depend how many you can fit in a given time breathe actively and then go ahead and stop and reverse them guys down and to the side and through the top back down through the side and through the top back let's give it a few more repetitions good wake up cool for the body very nice and one more and let's go ahead and draw the arms towards the ankles or feet if you can connect with ankles that's excellent if not don't worry about it in through the nose out through that nose let's draw the right leg over the heart a little bit deeper this time now you can set the left on the floor definitely or you can continue to hold it up above the ground keep on breathing and then switch the legs very good couple more breaths couple more breaths shoulders are open and soft neck is soft and relaxed and we constantly breathing guys do not hold your breath and let's bend our right knee hug this then sweet bend your left knee and let's dynamically continue to move just like this if you have to put your shoulders on the floor put your shoulders put your hat on the floor you don't have to hold them above entire time and just a few more in and out 
In and out through that nose, couple more. And then let's slowly bring both feet on the ground. Take those arms around the sides of your body. Press the hips up for the full Situbanhasana bridge. Inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the nose, making sure no weight on the shoulders. Let's take our right foot up, bend your knee, and from the hip flexor, we go and top the floor just for the few times. Do not drop the hips, keep the hips lifted, heart open, and just a couple more strong tops. Keep on breathing, guys, waking up. And let's take it back on the floor, do the same with the left. So knee, guys, is 90 degrees, bent foot 90 degrees above the floor. And procure the movement through the left hip flexor. Through the left hip flexor. Just a few active hip movements. Let's give it a couple more. And then bring your both feet on the floor. Take your both hands together and take your hips all the way up and open. All the way up and open. Keep on breathing. Through the nose in and through the nose out. And let's slowly bring our both hips all the way on the floor. And go ahead and give those knees another good quality hug. Let's slowly, guys, extend the legs, reach the arms up, bring the legs on the floor, coming up with me, reach up and open, and full forward full to Tanasana. Let's slowly reach up. Take your back all the way on the floor, grab those knees, give them a good hug. On the next one, see, we're going to go ahead and try to sit on the feet all the way through, just like this. Now, if that's not available, you have to go on your tippy toes and we will go ahead and turn towards the right. Lift the heart up, breathe actively. Mm -hmm. And all the way to the other side. Lift the heart up. Soft rotation through the waistline. And we're ready for the more active flow right now. Come on up with me. Arms up front. And up for the half chair pose. Arms up front. Inhalations through the nose. Exhalation. Back to the nose pose. Look forward, right in through the nose, out through the nose, reaching up. And again, back to the nose pose, waking up those legs. I know, I know, guys, breathe actively. One more time, reach. And exhalation all the way back. This time, big, big sweep, hips forward, heart up. Oh, the way, reach up and open. Full forward fold, Uttanasana. Relax the neck, drop your crown from here. We're going to start to flow more actively. Look, halfway through, step walk or hop to your plank. Push down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Come on up, up dog, and then downward facing dog, everybody, all the way. Start to wake up your spine, bend your knees for a couple times, press your hands super flat and fingertips are wide and then go ahead, look forward, bend your knees, step walk or hop one more time. Halfway neutral spine, full forward fold, Uttanasana, look halfway through, bend those knees with Katasana or chair pose. Big sweep, hips forward, heart up, express all the way through that heart. Full forward fold with me. Let's go ahead, step, walk or hop, and we're gonna meet in a plank. We're gonna hold it for this time. Our first side plank, rock your heels on the left and send 
your arm all the way on top on the hip line all the way on top on the hip line keep on breathing stuck wrist elbow shoulder one on top another navel in all the way through guys keep on breathing in through that nose out through that nose and then slowly guys take it back to the center wrap your hips on the other side wrist elbow shoulder are stuck take that left arm all the way along the hip line practicing the good quality form in that side plank to begin with inhalation through the nose exhalation through the nose and we back to our plank pose push down chaturanga dandasana come on up in all the way exhalation downward facing dog let's take our right leg up look underneath the right and wrap this right all the way along the left guys halfway quarter way level the hips square the shoulders and let's come with me for the hover right up here guys in through the nose out through that nose legs are connected inhalation through the nose exhalation take it back to the down dog shoulder blades apart relax your neck one more time in through the nose out through that nose back to the hover one more time take it back up undo that leg reach up and open step to your high lunge keep the back heel elevated guys all the way in reach all the way through big up and open keep on breathing in through the nose out through the nose draw the arms on the side nice and powerful open up the chest keep it strong in through the nose out through that nose take it all the way back on the floor step back to the plank one-legged transition or both knees on the floor whichever you can do take it up and back to your downward facing dog relax your neck drop the crown take your left leg up all the way through guys and slowly wrap it all the way around our right look forward and bend those knees and hover all the way hover guys keep on breathing in through the nose out through that nose take it back to the downward facing dog all the way through and let's do it one more time guys all the way hover with me keep on breathing keep on breathing stay strong take it back and slowly unwrap that leg and take it all the way underneath step forward to your lunge pose up and open crisscross do not crisscross your knees reaching that lunge pose all the way through big breaths open up the heart inhalation through the nose exhalation through the nose big breath big breath open 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 all the way through keep on breathing beautiful and then slowly take your hands back on the floor step back to the one-legged transition or both knees on the floor if you have to do that reach up and open and downward facing dog all the way exhalation look forward guys step walk or hop halfway neutral spine full forward fold this time look halfway through step walk or hop chaturanga dandasana hold with me low plank all the way through elbows in stay connected breathe actively keep on breathing pull the navel in in through the nose out through that nose look halfway through come on up cobra or up dog take it back to your downward facing dog relax look forward bend those knees and step walk or hop halfway through full forward fold uttanasana look halfway guys step walk hop low chaturanga dandasana use your knees on the floor or give it a little boost lift start to lift those ankles off the ground those feet keep on pumping come on come on come on come on come on come on and few more few more few more three two one coming up up dog or cobra 
Ian Express with the heart, take it back. Downward facing dog, exhalation, relax your neck. Let's take our right leg up, look underneath the right, step forward to your lunge. This time, guys, we're gonna go ahead and hold our lunge for longer. We're gonna start simply up here. We're gonna give it a good alignment first. Do not crisscross your knees, then slowly bend your left knee. Hover a little bit deeper. Do not compromise the upper body for upper body directly above the hips. Breathe actively. Keep on breathing, guys. Long extended arms, long extended arms. We're going to take our arms up, open, back, together. Now from here, feel free to set your back knee on the floor fully or extend it back with me and fold forward to the humble lunge all the way through. It doesn't have to be that your head is touching the floor and send your knee on the floor if it's needed. Come on back up with me. Take your both hands on the ground. We step into the side plank, rock the heels on the left. Mm -hmm. And from this side plank, this time, guys, we're going to pick up our foot on top, put it in the tree pose, wherever you can reach. Inner thigh, try not to put on the kneecap. Raise the elbow, shoulder on the left, stocked. Keep on breathing, guys, one step at a time. Good job, everyone, good form. Slowly, we're gonna make a transfer to the plank. If you need to release the foot, do it. If not, stay with me. Abdominal ball in, wrist, elbow, shoulder, stack, lift the knee, guys. Outward, outward, you've got it. Push down, chaturanga. Down, dasana, come on up. And exhalation, downward facing dog. All the way, release the foot, bend your knees. Pat your feet for a couple of times. How are you feeling? We have to repeat this flow from the other side. Take your left leg up all the way. Step forward to your lunge. Now we're going to hold it for quite a while on this side as well. Build a good form. Reach up and open. Big breaths. Find a good feel lunge first because then in a couple of breaths, we're going to bring the knee a little bit deeper, the right knee this time. Very nice. Try to do a good quality hover in long extended arms. Take your hands all the way behind. You can set that back knee on the floor or extend it fully and fold forward. Connecting with the earth, connecting with the ground. Stability, everything is in the air. Excellent job, come on back up. We're gonna make a transfer to the side plank. Rock your heels on the right. And from this side plank, draw your left leg on top for the tree pose of your choice. It might be a right knee on the floor as well, and or both knees on the floor, and no tree pose at all, guys. Breathe actively, stack your wrist and elbow shoulder on your right. Breathe. Attention, if you need to release your tree, do it or come back with me. Let me see you guys in your beautiful tree plank. That's it, navel in, power up, push down, chaturanga. Up dog, everyone. Downward facing dog all the way. Take a breath or two, then release that foot back on the ground. Big breath, guys. Look forward and bring your body back to the plank, through the plank, all the way to the ground. Hands slightly up front, shoulders up, back and down. We're going to carry our right leg on the side. You can choose just to stay up here. You can choose to work with me a little bit more actively on the back and hips. 
do what feels right. Not necessarily feels good and easy, but feels right. Do not overdo. Do not underdo. Couple more. Very nice. Breathe actively. And then go ahead and bring the hips back on the floor. We're going to draw this leg a little bit higher or not much higher. You can bend your knee if you have to bend your knee. And go ahead and just rest. Place your belly on the floor. Doesn't have to be super high. Mm -hmm. Just giving a good extra straightening and lengthening. Mm -hmm. Just a couple breaths, guys. And let's slowly return back up. Step back to your plank. From the plank all the way back down. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Carry the leg outside. You can safely stay up there. Do nothing and relax. And of course, no one is gonna do it. We're gonna go and work a little bit more on the hips and back. So be mindful when you're doing it. Don't overdo, guys. Just a few extra movements here. Couple more. And then slowly release your hips on the floor. Take this leg a little bit more forward. Not much or very much, whichever it's going. And then place your belly right on the floor. Just make sure that you find the place for that leg where you can place the belly and chest safely grounded. Mm -hmm. Very good, everybody. We're gonna give it a few breaths. We will continue to work in a cobra or up dog for the few more minutes. So come on back up. Let's find the good alignments in the plank and then slowly from plank again, release the hips. You can take the hands all the way up here to your up dog somewhere farther. Just make sure your shoulders not doing this. We're going to take the right foot up and open. Breathe actively. In through that nose, out through that nose. Slowly bring it right behind your kneecap. Stay, guys, right up here or lift. Unsupported up dog. Make sure it does not hurt in your back. Take it back slowly all the way. Exhalation. You're reaching open through your left. Support your back with the belly, guys, with the abs. And then slowly draw the ankle and foot of the left towards the right. Stay up here. Continue to express through the heart or lift. Be very mindful, very mindful, guys. Do not overdo it. Let's slowly take it back. Look up. Halfway, all the way, exhalation, down dog. We're going to stay and recover here for long, guys, for good. 10, 16 breaths in our downward facing dog. So start to work on that form. Make it feel good, make it feel right. Both hands are flat on the floor. Let's take the right leg up and open. Draw it all the way through. Step to your warrior one. It's a wide step. It's a wide and bold step. Let's reach up. We're going to take it to the warrior two. 
We're going to tap the back of the leg and just reach up and open just for the breath or two. Slowly through the warrior two, gaze forward, back to the warrior one. We're going to do exactly the same flow, but with the heel on the front leg lifted, if you will. If not, just stay where you are. Warrior one, warrior two, both legs working equally, top it lightly. Warrior two, and warrior one. Reach up and open. All the way gently, fold forward, and just settle those arms on the floor for the breath or two, both feet grounded. Front foot and back foot on the floor. It's not a lunge, it's a warrior one. Feet. From here, we will slowly bring the left knee on the floor and take the left foot behind. We will work today on a little bit more of the hip opener. So if that's too much, just set it halfway through. You don't have to do it all the way. Take your hand all the way on the floor, up front of the right, open up towards the left. If that is going pretty good on your hips, go ahead and wrap behind your right. Right inner side behind the back. And slowly back to the center. Full Ashtanga Vinyasa transition with the one leg or knees on the floor of your choice. Do what you can. Mm -hmm. Back to the downward facing dog. Relax, restore, release the tension. We will take the left leg up. Step forward for your warrior one. Just a regular wide step, warrior one. Let's reach up and open. Big breath. Reach, 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 reach. Warrior two. Nice and strong, gaze forward. Light up, very light one. All the way back to the warrior two and warrior one. Lift your left heel, if you will. Keep your hips square and warrior two. Warrior revolved. Back to the two and back to the front. Reach up and open, slowly dive forward. Take a breath or two, keep your both feet grounded. Continue to open the hips, keep that space in the hips and then slowly ground your right knee. Take the right foot behind wherever it goes. Come on up with me and we're going to open it up and hold or we will take our right hand behind the back, maybe towards the inner thigh. And maybe not. Very cool. Just a breath or two. And then we're going to be ready to return back to the full Chaturanga Dandasana of your choice. Stay with me. Mm -hmm. Back to the downward facing dog. We're going, guys, back to the side planks flow. Let's come up to the center. Rock your heels on the left. This time, take your leg on the bottom and just bring it to the front. Just to make sure we are all on one page. And we're just holding it. Breathe actively. We're just holding it. Just hold it. Just hold it. Now, if it feels right, we're going to take and take it to the half lotus up here. Mm -hmm. You can support yourself with the knee. You can keep it lifted. Just keep on breathing. Keep that strong. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And extend that leg all the way back. Reach up and open wild sink. 
Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. Breathe actively. Back to the center. Rock the heels on the right. Take the leg on the bottom. Extend it up front. And just hold this side plank. And you can definitely continue to hold it without going farther. Keep on breathing. Couple more breaths. And then if it feels good, we're going to draw this right towards the half lotus, supported or unsupported, whichever feels right. Be mindful. Keep on breathing, guys. Slowly take this leg back all the way. Wild sink. Take it up and open. Draw the hips up and open. Very good. Take it back to the center and step your feet wider than the mat, hands wider than the mat. Wide supported plank to the up dog and down dog. So slowly shift the weight back with me. Expand through the spine, take it back to the plank or up dog all the way if it feels right. Take it back, downward facing dog back to the up dog and then we're going to finish up this flow and i will take you for the shoulders push-ups upper body shoulders and arms work a couple more times flow with your own breath rhythm don't quit please stay with me couple more repetitions guys keep on practicing Stay strong. And on the next one, when you're going to descend to your up dog or to your down dog, we're going to bring the belly on the floor. Take both feet together. Take the hands on the floor steady and lift up. Breathe actively. Let's slowly undo the feet. Take your both feet parallel the sky, like flex your feet, right? So flex your feet really nicely and just take your arms up front. Keep lifting, keep the back strong. Feet flat over the, over the sky. Breathe, guys. Breathe, I know, breathe. Inhalation through the nose, activate the glutes, activate the back. Breathe, guys. In through the nose, out through the nose, slowly grab your ankles. Now spread the feet as wide as it goes and expand. Actively breathing, actively breathing. And let's gently bring the knees together. Take the hands on the floor. Tuck your toes, elbows in, and just pull your belly towards the spine. Drop the crown, reverse our back bend. Belly in, belly in and strong. So you feel that relaxation for that back. Now for when you are, set your wrist, elbows and shoulders, one on top another. No tabletops, no sinking hips. Shoulders above the wrist. Very narrow stand for the tricep push-up, just like our chaturanga. We're gonna do a lot of them. We're gonna go for eight together, strike for eight. Do more if you can. Let's do it. Eight, seven, six, bend your elbows. Five, chest right in between the hands. Four, three. You're doing awesome, guys. Come on, two. Down and hold with me. Four, few breaths. For a few breaths, you are super strong. Pull the navel in. Three, two, one. Come on up. Hot pose all the way around the spine. Relax your neck. Take your hands inside. Fingertips looking towards each other. Doesn't have to be so, so reversed. Maybe halfway. We're going to strive for eight. No tabletop reaching, no tabletops. This is a tabletop. This is the plank, that's it. Feels much better, it's gonna feel much better. Let's go guys. 
eight, seven, six, five. If it would be LA Fitness right now in our small room, I would be saying, who wants those slim, pretty arms? Work for it. <laughs> Let's do it a few more times, guys, a few more times. And one, hold it with me. Just a few breaths, hold it strong. You got it, come on back up. All the way to the cat pose. All the way to the cat pose. Okay, we're expanding. We're gonna take our hands behind. Now, the push-ups is not a requirement here at all. You can do a tiny bands just a little bit or you can just stay up here. Keep on breathing. Three, two, one. Extend the knees if you're doing that. Keep on breathing. Three, two, you know where we're going, right? I know you know. Come on. Elbows in towards the belly. That's it, Michael. That's it. Run towards the belly, inside the belly, guys. Not on the sides. Knees on the floor. Come on back up. Let's reverse and stretch the wrist. One single wrist in a time. Be very mindful. Mm hmm. We have a couple more variations of push-ups left for today, so we don't feel like we underworked out upper body. We're gonna take the hands super wide. And then we're gonna finalize our arm strength today with the dolphin pose and little dolphin kicks. So hands are wide, guys. It doesn't mean you are in a tabletop. Take it forward, chest in between the hands. Go. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and down and hold, guys. Down and hold for a few breaths. Three, two, one. Come on back up. Back to the cat pose, guys. Back to the cat pose. Come on back. We're going to take the left on the corner on the corner, farther away, right outside of the mat. Mm -hmm. Chest in between on the diagonal line. Ready, set, let's do it. We go eight, seven, building the strings. Six, five, elbows out, guys. Four, three, chest is expanded and wide, two, Last one, we're going to switch. Very nice, let's switch on the 45 degrees angle and outside, chest diagonal line. Ready, set, let's do it. We go eight, elbows out, collarbones wide. Seven, six, five, four guys, three, two, one and to the child pose all the way to the child pose we deserve it let's take a few breaths up here before we're gonna go for our dolphin and let's take it back to the tabletop the kicks in the dolphin pose are optional you just can continue to stay in your dolphin pose the easier variation of it would be having your hands connected, the more advanced one and more challenging one is would be when your arms parallel to each other. So pick the right one, extend your knees. We're ready for the dolphin pose. Relax your neck, keep on breathing, guys. Relax the neck, drop the crown, drop the crown. Now, if that's already easy for you, start to do your kicks, dolphin kicks coming up on the toes, or we call it also peacock, feathered peacock. So just the kicks. 
all the way. Couple more, guys. Couple more. If you practice in your hot stand, go away hot and proceed for your handstand or continue to stay in your dolphin pose. And let's slowly release the hat stand if you practiced it. We're going to come up, going careful, come up back on our knees. Everybody alive, which is a good thing. We're going to sit on our ankles. We will slowly flow to the flow of Ustrasana or Camel. For right now, we're going to go for modified ones, knees on the floor. Oh my goodness. It's a pretty oval. Oh my gosh. All right. That's the advantage of outdoor. Kids are screaming, but sometimes pretty birds are coming. <laughs> That's counter, <laughs> right? Let's take the hips up and open and remain your knees on the floor. Just relax the neck. Let's take it back and bring your right foot up front and lift again. Try to square the hips, square the hips. Take it back on the floor and just come on up with me up here. So we're gonna come for the one-legged Ustrasana and then we will repeat the same flow from the other side. So again, just Consider we're going to flow and, and continue to add up from here on this side so you can take your hand on the ankle, on the back. You don't have to open it up at all. Hips hop and forward, heart up and forward. We're getting better in that. Come on back to the center, pick up your back ankle. Now if you can just pick it, if you can pick it up with two hands, then just with one hand and we're just giving it the balance. Feet 90 degrees, 90 degrees. And we just bring in the ankle, the heel closer to the glute. If you have a little bit more room, then we're just going to bind a little bit deeper so we can go for a tiny little back bend. Mm -hmm. Breathe actively. Breathe actively. Take it back. Take this right knee, right ankle across the left ankle. And we're going to go for another back bend. Hands together in the mudra or on the back. If you need that extra support, then it's going to be the back. And back on the center. Before we will switch the legs, take your both heels together knees on the floor or lift it and we just take and sting through the hips through very nice and let's take our both knees back together for modified Ustrasana, building the strings, hands behind. This time you might be able to go a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. And let's take our left leg up front, lift up and open. 
Gauze is the same thing. And let's slowly bring it back and come on up for the one legged left leg up front. Consider to do just the back. That is totally fine. Or come with me. Try not to do this. Once you top, hips forward and up. And slowly returning back. Oh, what a breeze. That feels so good. And let's go ahead and pick up the ankle. So it's not a quadricep straight. We're trying to find the balance up here. And if you can go ahead and bind a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Keep the balance. Keep the balance. And just a breath or two. And then we're going to send our left ankle behind the right. We finalize this Ustrasana up here, hands together or on the back. Hips forward. Find the balance first. Be safe. And back to the center, feet together again, toes. If you can put your knees on the floor, then you would have to bring them a little bit higher. Inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the nose, massaging the feet. And then we're ready to settle down in the one-legged hero pose for now. If hero doesn't work for you, then prop yourself with the blocks. If you would be, if you know that you're gonna go and lay down to the reclined one, then make yourself a room over there. For right now, we're gonna pull the glutes out, making sure we sit in nice and flat, reaching up and open, take your time, and forward fold. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do slow preparation today. We're gonna start with just a half reclined one after this one, after the forward fold. If you will, follow me, then we're gonna bend the knee on the extended leg in our reclined position. I will show you. But it might be a little bit too much. And if you don't have a recline hero pose, you can stay seated and still do it. Breathe actively. And let's take it back up. So what I meant, you can stay just up here and don't go anywhere farther. Just hold the knee or you can come up with me. Half recline one or fully recline one. And of course for those up here in the park or you guys watching the video and exercising with us, if you're ready, be very mindful. Go ahead and grab that knee. Try to hold the other knee with the one which in the hero pose on the floor and ground it. Be very mindful in nurturing to your body. And we're slowly coming back. So make a transition however you need to make it. Roll through the side undo the legs and come back or come with me for the heron pose shoulders down hard up just a few breaths and 
and we will take the right hand, put it on the left, and pull the left leg towards the right. It could feel really uncomfortable. Do not allow yourself to fall backwards. Stay tall, guys. So now, if you are a beginner, put your foot right up here in a simple crisscross like this position. If you have more range of motion in the hip, it's external hip rotation, just like a half lotus, external hip rotation. Then we stay up here, taking the hands up front or folding forward. Just do what you can. Just doing what we can, guys. Push the boundaries within the reason. Do not hurt yourself. And coming back up. So whether your foot is on the floor or in connection, it doesn't matter. We're just going to get a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. You can release your foot out of that half lotus. And of course, if you have more room, Ron, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Just guys, be mindful. Very good, guys. That looks amazing. And from here, we're gonna do a slow, mindful transition to the boat pose. Come on up with me, come on up with me. And then we're going to repeat the whole half hero flow to the heron from the other side. Big smile. Someone is gonna hold this boat a little bit shorter. shorter. We're gonna start our countdown from now. Don't shake, just breathe, guys. And let's slowly take the left all the way behind. Make yourself a room and advance for your reclining variation. Reaching up and open, fold forward. All the way. Lengthening all the way through, through the spine, guys. Find the place where it feels right, where you can kind of acquire relaxation. Comfort, maybe challenging comfort, but still. And let's return back up. We're gonna bend the knee. Sit right here, or we're gonna go for the reclining position. If you want to do the reclining, it goes for you without the knees and do just with extended leg one. And of course, if that's very easy one, then we're going to take the right knee, grab it, pick it up. Maintain your left knee, guys, grounded on the floor, please. Yes, 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 grounded on the floor. Do your transition however you can do to the up and seated position back. Grab your ankle or toes or use the strap. Level the shoulders, lengthen into the spine, lift the leg. Very cool. Let's slowly switch the hand 
and we're gonna pull the right over the left and add a tiny soft external rotation through the waistline guys. Good job everyone. Excellent for don't fold back, stay tall, stay tall. And from here, you can put this just close or all the way right inside to the half lotus and the hero pose. Listen to your bodies. One side can be better than the other. External hip rotation, hands up front. It shouldn't hurt your knees or feet, please. I can feel it for you. So just do your best. Find that neutral place where it's challenging but not hurting. And just a few more breaths. And let's take it back. If you go and practice with me soft reclining position, go ahead. If you want to lay down all the way through, go ahead. Make a right choice. And let's slowly release our feet. If you need to come up first, come up first. I will meet you guys on your back. Let's begin our final part is just the simple bridge pose, or you can go to the full wheel with me today. So just make a right choice, see how it goes. Let's start with the bridge. Take your hands, connect them. Be mindful, weight on the shoulders. And if from there it feels like you're ready, then take your hands behind, lift yourself up. Very mindful, guys. And let's slowly release back on the floor and the choice could be just draw the knees towards the heart or go with me for full halasana especially if you did the full variation we need to give it a good stretch good repose And let's slowly start to release our hips on the floor. Take your right leg around the left to the eagle pose. Drop your knees, bring them, guys, on the right. And take the heart over the ceiling. Try to set your arms outside and shoulder blades grounded on the floor. Final half spinal twist, supported one. Very challenging one. If you need to undo those legs, undo those legs and just bring the knees separate on the floor. And then return back, switch. And this time left leg above the right, we take in the knees on the left. Taking the knees on the left. In heart up towards the ceiling, gaze towards the right. And 
let's slowly take it back on the floor. Undo those arms and legs. Take your arms all the way behind and extend your legs and arms away from each other. Take a good, nurturing, loving breath. Let's bring attention inside and within and make sure that we find that love, connection, forgiveness, passion about life inside. No one can give it to us and no one can take it away. So with that, let's slowly keep your eyes closed. Come, start to come back to the front of your mat, feet crisscrossed. Take your hands up front of your heart. Close your eyes. And again, let's find that peace within, that health within, that ability to restore, recover, and strive within. Life comes with responsibility to live it well and to contribute to other people's lives. But first, we have to take care of ourselves so we have something to give. And let's find the big smile, giant smile inside our heart and flow through the rest of this precious day with unshakable peace and love within. Namaste.